Today is March 15th, 2021. A year ago tomorrow, I will have broadcast my first lunch doodles. Let's see what we can make out of this 15. a rhino. I made a rhino out of 15. I'll put my name here and people will know that I drew it. You don't have to do the date because the date's right there. So it's been a big year. We've been locked down in one way or another for a whole year. It's a long time. It's a different amount of time for everyone. So if you're four years old, it's 25% of your life. It's a long time. If you're seven and a half years old, 13% of your life. It's a long time. If you happen to be 53 years old, it's almost 2% of your life. Still a long time. I think a lot has happened. We've learned a lot. We've lost a lot. And science is going to get us out of this. It's already starting to. But art is going to get it, us through this. So I hope you've made a lot of art this year. I hope you've made a lot of drawings this year. But first, before we do our art project for the day, let's pause and just remember a little bit people and things that happened over the last year, how we were our best selves and how maybe we wish we could have done better. All right, let's play. So we are going to make an abstraction. Oh, this is very exciting. I have been making a lot of abstractions this year. So what you're going to need, some markers and some paper and some tape. I've got painter's tape. If you don't have painter's tape, just normal tape will do. Here's the trick. It doesn't matter which markers you use, but it does matter what type of paper. You want to get a paper that this tape won't rip up when you pull it off. I don't know, you might even use one of those shopping bags that you've had over the year, a lot of those paper shopping bags. But if you have this kind of stuff, you'll pause, go on, get yourself some markers, doesn't matter which ones, some paper, it's good. If you have painter's tape, fancy. If you have normal tape, that's great. We're gonna make an abstract. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah, I know it's hard. They test with it, there. okay, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's play. So I'm going to make a frame. I'm going to use my painter's tape first to make a frame so I can see where I'm drawing. Like this. See, it makes a nice straight line. Not a big one. Oh, go like this. It doesn't have to be too exact. All right. Do it again. Go like this. Boop. 
and like this. So I know that I'm going to draw in the middle of my page. I love abstractions. I was doing some abstractions based on the compositions of a man named Ludwig van Beethoven. It's a silly name for a guy who really liked making music, and he was one of the great music makers. And I remember reading somebody saying, you know, Ludwig van Beethoven, they didn't give him extra notes. He got the same notes as everybody else. And that's the same for us as artists. We don't get extra colors. Fancy artists don't get extra colors or extra shapes. They get the same colors and shapes that you get. They just put them together in a different way. So we're going to put shapes together in a different way. And what we're going to do, much like this year, we've had restrictions of one kind. We're going to make a restriction. I'm going to take the tape and we're going to put it on the paper. And I'm going to go all wiggle waggledy like this. Oh, see, I'm doing this with the clear tape. I'm going to take this off so you understand you can do it with clear tape, but you're not really going to be able to see it on the screen. So I'm going to do it with this green tape and I'm going to go wiggle waggledy. I'm going to restrict what the pen can do, right? I'm going to make it so that the pen can make colors, marks on the paper, but not where the tape is. Much like there have been things that we have wanted to do that we've been restricted, but that doesn't mean that we can't make fun stuff. Let's start with a red pen, and I'm going to just take my marker, and I'm going to mark. I'm going to mark, get a little rhythm to it. I'm going to just mark. And your name doesn't have to be Mark for you to do this. And again, doesn't matter which markers you use. Just get a nice thing going on here. Look at that. All right. And get it all done up. Okay, that's step one. That was my red. Now I'm going to slowly, slowly take the tape off. It's one piece of tape. And this is why it matters what type of paper you use. I don't want it to rip the paper at this point. But otherwise, it's good. Use. There we go. Helps if you have more fingernails. I clipped my fingernails recently. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Now, I can do it again. But I'm going to do it going the other direction. And again, just maybe make them go off in different things. Just, yeah, see how they're making like a little, little river. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just feeling it feeling and thinking about the shapes I want to make. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to take blue pen, blue marker, and I'm just going to go. And look, the blue, when it goes over the white, makes one color. When it goes over the red, it makes another color. That's kind of interesting. There we go. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Get really done. All right. Let's take that blue marker that's there. Let's pull this tape off. Oh. All right. Now we're getting close. Let's see. Get this off. How's yours coming? It's good. Yeah. All right. Now, we make lots of little tapes. We make little dots, little remembrances of all the little things that have happened, all the little events that I did not see coming. And think about them as I put these little pieces here, just randomly. But I'm also thinking about why I'm making this drawing. 
It's making me feel things while I do it. Take a yellow marker. Ah, there we go. This is the fun part. There we go. This marky mark mark. And look, it's changing the little colors a little bit. Oh, well, yeah. piece of art is something that changes the room that it's in. And when you look at it, it makes you feel or think differently, if only for a little while. That's why I like art so much. I miss going to see it, because being in a room with it is very exciting. So, since I haven't been able to go to museums this year, I decided to make a lot of paintings. And it helps me think, it made me, made me feel better. I used up a lot of tape as well, so whoever's in charge of the tape industry is very happy as well. All right, so now I've got that. I'm gonna take my big pieces of tape off this is the framing device, right? Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. What? Look at that. Or, this is the fun part. Or look at that. Or look at that. Or look at that. Great thing about making abstract art is you get to decide which side is the top. The way you do it is you write your name so that everybody knows that you made it. And then it's finished and you know what the top is. Right? All right, let me see yours. Let me see what you got. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like how the colors mix up and made all those shapes. It's a real work of art. I think this one deserves a place on the Willems Refrigerator Museum of Art. It's where we put our really good drawings on the refrigerator so that everyone at home can see the art that we made. There we go. All right, I do have one letter. Because traditionally when we did the lunch doodles, we got letters, so. Here's today's letter. Today's letter, Monday, March 15th, 2021. The letter comes from everybody everywhere. And it says, why? I don't know. But I do know that now every Tuesday through Saturday for the next three weeks, you can go back in time to see me draw for you to see what your drawings will be like in the future. And maybe you will notice something that no grown-ups did in all those episodes. The numbers of drawings that I made upside down. I hope to see you outside of a box in the real world soon. Until then, keep creating.